year five, your fact of the day for today is 12 times five equals 60. So what other facts do you know? I've just realized I haven't put any decimals on mine. So perhaps you could put some decimals on yours. I have put some fractions and maybe you could add some percentages as well. Okay, year five, so we're carrying on with fractions. I'm just gonna refresh your memory. Hopefully these things you'll know. Um, we're going to look at fractions of a quantity and then we're going to look at fractions of a shape. So we're going to start here. I've got some counters here. Could be cakes, it could be biscuits that you're sharing. Very many practical reasons why you need to know fractions to share things. So I've got 20 counters. Now let's start really easy. If I half the counters... I'm hoping that you're going to say that that would be 10. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 here. And then I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So there I had half of 20 equals 10, didn't I? So I had half of 20 equals equals 10 so equal groups so what this bottom number is my denominator and that's how many groups so i've got two groups how many have i got in each group and i've got 10 so that's half of 20 equals 10 easy stuff i know you're all going to be saying this to me so if i put my counters back and i've got 20 again and this time I want to find, let's think, I want to find one quarter. So hopefully again you're thinking, well if it's one quarter, a quarter looks like this when it's written down. So how many equal groups do I need? I need four. So if you're right at the beginning and you're thinking, I really don't get this, Mrs. Oliver, you're simply going to make four groups and put an equal number into each group. So you could draw four circles, have four plates, count out these imaginary biscuits onto the plates, one quarter of 20. So you'd need a group here, a group here, a group here, a group here, and you share them equally. So at the moment I've got two in each group. I move one at a time just to make sure. But I know you're already saying to me, well, I don't, Mrs. Oliver, we've already got this. Oh, gone wrong there. So one more there. See, even Mrs. Oliver did it wrong. So now I've got four groups. So I've got a quarter. I've got four groups. How many in each group? One, two, three, four, five. So that equals... Five. So, hopefully you're thinking, right, I've got this, Mrs. Oliver, I know what you're saying. Now, I did put some counters in your pack, so you should have some counters there. But if you haven't got them or you haven't got enough counters, just think about what you could use around your house. Maybe you've got Lego bricks, uh, maybe you've got teddies, maybe you've got um, dried beans. If you need to be counting them out, just go and collect 20 smallish items that you can manipulate around. So after one quarter, I want you to think about one fifth of 20. And I'm not going to give you the answer this time. So I want you to think about one fifth of 20. And then I want you to think about one tenth of 20. So you won't have your new packs yet, so I want you to write these down in your maths book. So I want the answers to one fifth of 20 and then one tenth of 20. So as I say, if you've got counters, use your counters. I can't remember how many I put in each pack. You might have enough. If not, you could use something else or you might just know it. I'm hoping that by now in year five, you might just know it. So the other things I want you to think of, if this is one half of 20, what would two halves of 20 equal? Hmm, what would that be? And if you know one quarter of 20, what 
what would three quarters of 20 equal? I haven't left a lot of room here, but what, what would two fifths of 20 equal? And let's see here, what would, what would five tenths of 20 equal? So in your maths books, can you tell me two halves of 20, what would that equal? Three quarters of 20, one fifth of 20, two fifths of 20, one tenth of 20, and five tenths of 20. Just to start getting your brains rethinking about fractions. Now, the one thing you probably shouldn't do is write on your table at home, because obviously I'm at school and I'm using a whiteboard pen. So write these things down in your maths book. Okay, so we have looked at fractions of quantities, fractions of amounts. So the second part of today's lesson is a reminder of fractions of a shape. So you're going to need to pause the video on this sheet here because you haven't got your new packs yet. So here it says circle all the fractions that show how much of the circle is shaded. Obviously you haven't got the sheet, so you're just going to write down the fractions. So question one we've got here. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see that this is three sections. One section is shaded. So that is one third. So I'm going to circle one third. But you are going to write this in your book. So you're going to write number one, one third. But it says all of the fractions. So there are some equivalent fractions here that you also need to write down in your book. So let's have a look. Um, I can see straight away that two sixths is an equivalent fraction. And I know that because I've got one here has been times um, by two to make two. And three times two is six. Because I'm hoping that you'll remember that for equivalent fractions, what you do to the numerator, you do to the denominator as well. And then, so let's have a look, four ninths, would that be the same as the same thing? Well, that's times four, but that, no, three times four is nine, so it's not that one, so I wouldn't write that one down. Oh, three fifteenths, could it be that? So for my one third, well, one has been times by three to get three, and then the three, so that would be nine. Ah, oh, so if that was three ninths, it would be equivalent, but it's not this one, so I'm not going to write this one down. Um, what about this one? So I've got one here, so I've times that by four. And what if I times three by four? Oh yeah, then I get 12. So I can circle this one or you can write it down because that, this shaded bit is equivalent to one third, two sixths or four twelves. So you're going to need to pause the video on this sheet. There's only eight questions. I've done one for you. So you're going to move on to number two and just write down the fractions that show how much of the circle is shaded. So you're going to need to pause your video on this sheet. Good luck.